What is going on? Hello, hello. I hope everyone is doing wonderful today. I First and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for getting me to a thousand subs. That is like absolutely mind boggling to me. I don't feel like I've been posting for too long. So to already be there like means the world to me. I like have so much fun making these videos and to me, it's just something that's kind of like a hobby and it's fun just to talk about plants. And I don't know, it's, it's something that I just enjoy doing and for people to appreciate it and like subscribe and like actually watch that stuff is like really, really like, I don't know how to put it in perspective. It's just really cool. So much love. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So for today's video though, I wasn't really sure what to do to be 100% honest. I've been slowly repotting stuff off camera just because there's a lot of things I wanted to do and I'm pretty much at a cusp point where I move in like five weeks or maybe four weeks now. I don't want to really do too much like repotting and messing with stuff because if anything goes in shock and then it's not good by the time I move, I don't think it's going to do <laughs> really well with the transition. So I'm trying to be careful, but I'm also just trying to get stuff taken care of that needs to get taken care of just to make it easier for me when I do move. I think it'd be fun to show off five of my favorite plant plus like pot combos. Cause one thing that I've just really gone into, it honestly, it started kind of right when I started posting videos. So not too long ago, I started really getting into pottery. And I'm at this point where I love looking for pottery. I like finding stuff and kind of getting stuff that complements the plant, but also goes with like the style that I'm going for, which I don't really know what I'm going for. Some of them aren't fully like potted in yet. I either just haven't gone to it and or I haven't gone to it, which is honestly what it is. Or for some of them, I still need to drill uh, drainage through. So I just have them like in the nursery pot in the pot. So I'm still gonna show those ones off cause I like the combo of them, but they're not like fully potted in, if that makes sense. Without further ado, let me go get the first one. The first one I have here, I actually just did this morning. That's why it's so condensated, but I have this super cute, little maiden's hair fern inside this little cloche and this cute little pink pot. If I have links or if I remember, I will post all the stuff because like I'm not going to gatekeep. Like if you like anything, go for it. I had this main hair fern inside this cloche originally. I just didn't have it potted up. One, because I didn't know what to put in this pot and I really wasn't thinking about it that much. And two, I kind of just assumed this pot wouldn't fit in the cloche, but it worked like kind of perfectly. So. I went through and just did this actually this morning, but I really ended up liking it. I think the green and pink is cute and then the gold and the pink kind of matches as well too. And it looks good on the shelf. I think I really like enjoy this. Now, some of the leaves have little markings on them. I think it's just too bright over there now. Like it gets no direct light, but I live in Arizona. On Monday, it's gonna be 112 degrees. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. But I also, this thing gets pretty condensated and I don't know if I was doing a good enough job of taking the lid off as often as I should. I was doing it once a week to pretty much check for like watering, but I think I should maybe do it every couple of days or at least now that I have it potted in, I'll see how it goes. But I think it needs to not condensate as much. I need to be on top of it more. It is putting out new growth from what I'm seeing, but also I don't know if that new growth is doing good. I also did trim it back a little bit. It used to be a little bit more lush, um, but one, some of those spots were just kind of ugly and I didn't want too many of them. And I wanted to help contain it more because the leaves do press up against the glass. So I also think that plus the condensation might just not be the best combo. So I thought trimming it up and kind of making it a little bit more compact would kind of help in that sense. So we'll see how it goes. I really do enjoy the combo. The pot, I think I got off Amazon. I'm pretty, yes, I got these ones on Amazon. And then the push I got from Ikea. So, and I think that was like 15 or 16 bucks. So not too shabby for like the little combo and whatnot. I also like the soil. I don't know, I'm weird. I like when soil looks like nice. Like I like a good top layering, but when soil looks nice, like the pumice and the little charcoal, and then you have a little bit of the, like the little cocoa husk, it just looks like chunky and nice and pretty. And I feel like it complements it even more, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So the next one I have here is my philodendron moonlight inside this fun little planter. I don't know the name of this planter and I don't know the company. I did get it from my work. I really like this pot. I think it's so fun. I like the pattern on it. It's kind of funky and cool. 
Sorry, I'm like trying to hold the leaves up so you can actually see it. I guess I can lift it up too. I really like it. I love the colors, the little like kind of like minty and the blue and the pink. It reminds me of like the rug that I have in this living room. There's certain like details that I have like this blanket. It reminds me of that combo. So I don't know, I feel like it kind of tied in. My like rule when it comes to like pots, cause this one is kind of like, it's kind of colorful in general. So my biggest thing with that is I'll try to pair it with something that might be like just kind of more solid or maybe doesn't have too much pattern or like texture to it. Doing something like that I feel like just makes both the plant and the pot look good. Cause if you have a busy plant with a busy pot, I feel like sometimes it can be rough unless they really just do complement each other. That's kind of one of those like rare scenarios where you see it and you're like, you these two things eat, this is good, like it's gonna work. Sometimes, you know, you find that and it's fun, but you know, when in doubt, not a busy plant with a busy pot, I feel like is always like a safe route. I've had this guy since Christmas, I think, not this last Christmas. So it's been over two years now that I've had this. And when I got it, it was a lot smaller. It's grown so much. I adore this plant. I have not done much with it. It was on like a south facing window. It was on this window for a long time. And so it got a lot of light in general. I now have it on the west facing and it's still doing good, but I have it a little bit higher up. Sorry, I see little stems I'm pulling out real quick. I have it higher up. So I know some of the leaves can't see the sky anymore and they don't really get any direct light. So it's enough, it's still growing, but I feel like I could probably give it some more light and it probably would appreciate it. Cause like you, you can kind of see one side is so lush and gorgeous and I try to rotate it, but then you have the other side that's a little, <laughs> little bare. And some of these leaves are, some of the bottom leaves on some of these are starting to go as well too, or just kind of feel really like soft and weak while the rest are kind of firm. This one is one of the ones too that I do just have it in its nursery pot still. I haven't just drilled a drainage hole in the actual pot itself, but it's been in this one for a while. I did take it out once to look at the roots and they really weren't too grown out, so I'm not too worried. And even when it goes in this pot, it'll have a little bit of extra room to grow. So I feel like I'd be happy to do it. I just need to drill that drainage in it and then I'll, I'll be set from that sense. That is going to be this combo here. You can see the third one right behind me, but this one's kind of big, so I didn't want to like try to bring it all at one point. This is one of my absolute favorite planters I think I've ever gotten. It is, the planter itself is called Aton. So if you type that in, you'll find it online. But what makes these pots so cool is they're all individually hand painted. So no one is gonna be the same. They all have just really interesting, like, I don't know, it's it's such soft colors. Something about me too is I usually don't like like darker pottery. And this one, I, I wouldn't consider super dark, especially too from like the way it's angled, but it does have black on it, but either way, I, I just really liked how it looked. I love how you can tell it just kind of has that hand painted look. It's it's just a cool freaking pot, but it's very big as you can see. And inside I have my Anthurium VTI. So this one, this plant's actually doing super, super good. Now it is pretty much acclimated in the ambient humidity that I have in this space. I do not know what that is now, now that the summer's rolled around. It used to be more confidently, I used to be able to get it up to like 65% humidity. I don't know what I get it to. My humidifier is always running and it's out pretty much every day. But once again, living in the desert, it's super dry. So there's only so much I can do in that sense. With this one in general, you can kind of see like these couple of leaves over here and this back one are all kind of yellowing and kind of struggling a little bit. Now, I will say those were all more, I don't like know where to go. <laughs> those were all more like original leaves and these ones were ones that were in higher humidity in general. They have all stuck out strong and they're doing good. These other two leaves have been the ones that have came out since being out of the cabinet. And these two, as you can kind of see, are looking a lot better. This one came out a little wonky and this one also did too. I was trying to adjust them and move them so they would grow a little bit more like 
even and not all one way. I feel like when I move, I'm gonna try to give this guy either like a high spot where it gets a lot of room to grow or like its own little like designated area just because I really want the leaves to be able to grow and I don't want it to all go one way for this plant. And I want to be able to rotate it and it not accidentally bump and hit stuff because that's what's causing some of these leaves to grow so wonky just because they're pressing up against the bookshelf or kind of against the little window seal. So that's what I'm trying to figure out there. But you can kind of see this is the new leaf coming in and it looks super good. It's been growing like super consistently. It already has like a decent like petiole to it. So I'm excited. I think this is gonna be, if I can get, cause realistically, I think this is the biggest leaf. These two leaves are still pretty big in size. If I can get anything bigger than these two, I will be so, so proud and excited for it. Now this one is still in a nursery pot. You can see it, the reason why is because it is a little bit on the bigger side. Uh, if I had it normally potted up, it, would st it wouldn't it would be too big of a jump. It's still only about like two inches, which I feel like is a good rule. Um, but it is an anthurium, and I just want to be kind of cautious with it. This one is growing out like crazy and putting out some super big, thick, healthy roots. So I think I'm at the point where when I end up moving, I'll probably end up seeing about getting it potted in. This pot's really cool too because it does have drainage. So when you water it, it does come out from the very bottom and it goes into this tray as well, which is something that I absolutely love. It just adds to like the overall like, I don't know, just the overall aesthetic for this one is just so cool. As of right now, this is like probably like my second favorite. I don't want to rank things, but I just, pulling it out too and having it just in its own area, like being able to see it in full, it's just one of my favorites. It's just so pretty. I love the leaves and I think they really complement and bring everything together because once again, it's a very simple colored leaf with a more like detailed type pot or a little bit more like crazier pot, but you still get the, the ribs of the VCI and it gives texture. And I feel like that's just what kind of like elevates it or makes me like really, really like it even more. And just to this pot in general, the design of it, the hand painting aspect, the way it has drainage, like this thing in itself is just really freaking cool. Like I love when plant stands or plants can be in like a taller pot that's built out like this. And to also have drainage is like, I think such a win-win. The next one here is going to be my Pachira Aquatica, also known as the money tree. And it's pretty tall, so I'm just gonna like lower it just so you can kind of see. It is exploding with growth right now. It is having the time of its life. It's loving the west facing window. You can see one side's definitely taller than the other. That's because this bigger side has been the one that's closest to the window. So I wanna rotate them, but I have to move the VCI because they're right next to each other. And I'm kind of just like, eh. So I'm letting it do its thing for the time being, but it's just been having such a good time. It's just growing like crazy. And to top it off, this pot, I think just absolutely is just chef's kiss. It's simple, but one thing about me is I love me a good yellow. Something about like a yellow is just, and this is like kind of like a mustardy yellow and it's just like, I don't know how else to explain it. When we got these ones at my work, I was just immediately like, oh, I need one of these. I've never like really cared too much about money trees. I thought the foliage was pretty, but this is like what sold me. I was like, this is so interesting. I love the, like, I just love it. It just feels so natural. And I love that so much. I think with the trunk and these vivid green leaves on top of this yellow pot, I just was like, perfect combo. This is literally it. So. This one's been doing so well ever since I potted it. Is um, It's been growing, like I said, super consistently. It gets a, probably a little bit too much light. Like some of these leaves look a little eh, but also the area that they're in, my cats like to jump over there. So I am kind of putting the blame on some of the leaves not looking their best on them for running into everything. But even then, I'm not too, too bothered. I know as well too, I can definitely see it leaning more. So maybe I will change them and like rotate it. I just can't do it where it's at. I have to like flip two plants. I have to switch spots for them to make them look good, which is fine, but eh, I just don't want to do it. One of my like favorite things about money trees too, I just feel like with these, since they just keep growing taller and you don't have to really worry about like 
like a vine or like sizing up weird or like the trunk going funky as long as it's getting proper like water and like the proper lighting these guys just get so tall and so it's so easy to have this on a shelf and then just put it on the floor as like a floor plant when it gets too big i think that's one of my absolute favorite things and you get to kind of like not have to do too much work this thing is just amazing it's just so wonderful i love it very very much the last plant and pot combo is definitely like my favorite i think in my entire collection this right here is my philodendron el chaco red in this pot here it is called the fondra pot it's from a company called greenery unlimited it is a self-watering pot so underneath i do have a little water reservoir so i just keep that filled and i check it once a week and if it's a little low or if it's empty i just fill it up that way this plant specifically has always just had access to water and it seems to be doing super super good i really love this pot in general too i just love the design it's so interesting it kind of looks like like bubbles or kind of like clouds or i don't know i just love it it's so cool and the red of this pot reminded me so much of the El Chaco red and I thought it would just really complement the back of the leaves. So I did those two and then with the darker green foliage and just, I feel like it looks so good. On top of it too, I did a top layer here as well. It is just like a nice white base. I thought since I didn't have to really check the soil since it's just getting water from the bottom whenever it needs to, a, I just went for a top layer there and I just love it. It looks so nice. I feel like the whites really complements the red and brings it out a little bit more. And then you see the leaves. I don't know. This whole thing feels so good. Even this little moss pole here, I gave it for support. I haven't tied it down, but I am waiting. Once it grows a little bit more, I think that's when I'll tie it in. But this one has like a super small, it has like almost like a green mossy look. So I feel like it just looks more natural as well. So I don't know, I feel like with this one, I just absolutely, like the vision came and it just was perfect. It's everything I could ask for. I just love how it's growing. I love the shape of it. It gave me this leaf not too long ago. This is the newest leaf. It isn't the biggest one. This one ended up being the biggest, but this was also in my cabinet for months and months and months. And so it was getting a lot more higher humidity or more so I should say more consistent humidity, I think than anything, but I'm still happy with it. You can still see the green. You can still see the red on the back of the leaves. It has the shape for the most part. So hopefully when I move, I can give it a little bit more space and or figure out something else to kind of help it out. Maybe get the humidity up. But yeah, other than that, this is, like I said, probably my favorite combo that I have in my space. Every time I see this on the top of my bookshelf or I go to go check on it, it's just so beautiful and pristine. And I love it too, because when I rotate it, obviously different leaves will kind of stick out. And whenever I get this really big leaf that's kind of pointing out and I see it with the pot, I'm like, oh, this is it. This is the combo. I'm so happy with it. Once again, this is the Fondra pot from the company Greenery Unlimited. And then this is the Philodendron El Choco Red. That is going to be the last plant and pot combo that I have today. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope you liked the video. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you go or have any really cool pots from different companies and you think I'd like them, send me links, show me stuff. I'm always looking for fun and interesting things in general, especially for my space. As well too, thank you again for a thousand subs. I still have no words. I'm like mind boggled by it. I just thank you. I appreciate it so, so much. If you like the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe if you like the video. It helps me out a ton. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you may be, and I'll catch you next time. Later.